If you just do the the rhythm of the song in one note, it'll work if you do the right note. Is this what's called a fugue? I mean, what is a fugue? It just has two melodies going on at the same time, right? Anyway, welcome to Final Fantasy IX. Fugue is a, a contrapuntal <laughs> composition in which a short melody or phrase is introduced by one part, successfully taken up by others and developed into e interweaving parts. Okay. I don't know what I just read. Something like that, then. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Good to see you all here. Welcome to the stream. I am both excited and a little mortified about tonight's stream because I have um, some some deep-seated hatred for the next part of the game, Gargant Rue. Not my favorite part of Final Fantasy IX by a long shot, but it has to get done, and we can do it painlessly, like pulling teeth. It's it's not as it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. Definitely not. Um, I'm just setting up the limiter, chat. Don't mind me. To unplug my controller. Okay. Got some sound. Got the limiter going. We should be good. All right. I know. Joel has been streaming the same level of Mario Maker for nine hours. No, I've been offered, well not offered, people have requested my assistance for a little while now, but when one engages <laughs> into the realm, let's say, of CBT, one knows what they're doing. You know, <laughs> that's a decision that one makes and one must follow through with. All right, now listen, before we do Fossil Rue... Uh, I don't want to be rude, but I have to turn the YouTube stream off. Okay. So we have um, only a couple of the party members. I think I was all like set up last time I played this. I have a bit of a a bit of a story to tell you, which is I went looking for Crystal Head vodka today. <laughs> I couldn't find it. So, um, yeah, no one carries it. One store was like, I've had complaints about it, and they stopped. Another store was like, oh, it's amazing, but we sell out quickly. You know, I just wanted the, the cool, like, skull, really, more than anything. Um, wait a minute. Um, where do I have to go to do this? Vinny, um, would it be okay to email you ask you for a link to the sound mod you're using? Yes, um, How Easy, aka Howard, gave me a list of mods. I will be sure to do that. Oh, talk to the guy in the square. Thank you. Thank you. Vinny, Crystal Skull Vodka is basic bitch vodka. But it comes in a skull. I heard about the alien vodka. They told me. Um... I'm not even really feeling like drinking, but I ended up buying a little something that apparently is very good. It's called The Knot. It's an Irish um, whiskey. Hang on a minute. It's 100%. Let me, let me just read this because it's got a cool bottle. And it's, um, I heard this was very good. Bottled by The Knot Irish Spirits. It's 50% alcohol by volume, 100 proof. Produced and bottled in Ireland, The Knot. And it's got a great bottle. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a live taste test. I can't drink too much. I can only have a sip or two because I'll be reading for the next couple hours. So. Get smashed. No, 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 no. Um, but here it is on the rocks. Let's see what this is like. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not like sweet in a way that's um, off-putting, but yeah, it's really easy to drink. It doesn't have like much of a burn. It's a little spicy. Um, tastes like your usual whiskey, but with a little bit of... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's good though. It's it's pretty good. Why are they loading food instead of valuables onto the ship? I wonder if they're going to take them all back to Alexandria. Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship. Damn them. They think they can walk all over us. We got to stall more. Just Let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? Well, what do they really want? I don't know. But you know how greedy Bronn is. Remember, they're, they're occupying Lindblom and they used a giant, like, gape summon monster beholder to suck in some of the city so there's a lot if you missed the last stream of this it won't make too much sense but I wonder where we're going next I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan there's no need for us to worry about such matters come now we need your help some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the guest room I'm um, doing the voices for this. Like, I don't really do too many voices. A couple here and there. I just read them, you know, read the characters. But when you listen to Roy Dotrice do Lord of the Rings audiobooks, it's amazing. Like, he does, you know, he reads in his own voice a lot, but he also gives each character, like, a little accent or dialect. Apparently, each recording session, they have to remind him and play him clips of what he does. Is it Roy Dotrois? What's his name? I think that's the... No, no, that's that's a um, different guy. Hang on a minute. Audio... Book. It's done by... Um, how could I forget the name of the dude? Roy was for Game of Thrones. And Lord of the Rings was... The guy who sang Tom Bombadil. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder what Bronn is going to do. Zidane, do we really have to go to the Outer Continent? Rob Inglis, thank you. Also, thank you everyone from Joel's stream that's here to watch Final Fantasy IX. I appreciate that. Thank you, KXZ. It's always good to see you. Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go? What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. Are you worried about me? Well, I mean, um... A princess needs her elite guards, you know? I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? Sorry, I was only kidding. You'll be fine with me. What about you, Garnet? We don't know anything about the Outer Continent. I've made up my mind. And I ain't wasting no more time. Here we here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. Sorry. Um I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then. I'll protect both you and Vivi. Thank you. To Dane, I'm so glad you're here. Vivi, where's Uncle Sid? Um, he said, walk, walk, wait here. And went away somewhere. Where could he be? 
Quack, I did it! This is a game about guacamole if you haven't seen it. I stopped a trolley between here and the Serpent's Gate. Quack, quack! That'll show them not to fool around in my castle! Now go! Quack, quack! The excavation site is like a maze. Be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's a rag. You big dope! It's not just a rag. Quack! That's a national treasure of Lindblom! That is an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, thanks. It's ancient. Now go before they find you. Zidane, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnet. Okay. Uncle Sid. Walk! Don't worry about me. I am stronger than I look. Now go! They'll squeeze all the Oglop oil out of my body if we're caught. Let's go, Garnet. I oh, this Sid's pretty cool. I still like Final Fantasy VII Sid. Who likes to, um... How infuriating. Uh, you know, who likes to curse and drink whiskey and, and smoke and be really just awful. I love him. My, my, they have an Oglop for a region and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Hmm. You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The machine over there stopped, and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yes, it made the strange guac guac sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. <laughs> I want to go to the Tashi Station. Any word from the lookout? No, ma'am. Nothing. This must be Regent Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Not Regent Sid. I would see it like a sitcom. Regent Sid and Queen Braun. Just trying to, like outdo each other come with us you two find the regent yes ma'am um I have a cursed image that I would like to show you all so there's an AI there's an AI that's um being developed uh, you know it's not it's probably still being worked on let's say but it's in a good state right now, and I might bring it to the stream at some point. I don't think I'm ready for it just yet. But... <laughs> but I want to show you... My, um, my favorite one at the moment is this one. So, it's Denny from The Room combined with Zidane from this game. So... Zidane. <laughs> I just like to watch you guys. Thank you, Red Jackal, for this. I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. So that's um, a, a potential thing in the future. You know what I mean? Um, we'll, we'll just keep these AI abominations uh, coming. You know what I mean? Huh? You're going to the excavation site. It's loaded, located directly north of here. You'll see a pond shaped like a gourd. You might encounter some strange monsters. Hey, you want to buy something? Buy some items. And uh, we get the Multina racket. Thank you, Howard. Howard, I have your list of mods that you made for this. I'm going to make them public at some point. Because people wanted to know, and I haven't done that yet, but people wanted to know exactly what was being used here. Covered. Um, ability up seems nice for Vivi. I think I got this for Vivi. Um, um, I 
think everyone else is more or less in good shape. Maybe Vivi could use a bandana. Or Mage's hat with loudmouth. Sure. Let's get loudmouth ability up. Ability up is characters learn abilities faster. Excellent ability. Really, really good. Um, auto potion we don't need. Auto potion could be useful at some point when there's no healers. Hello, Mr. Vine Sauce. Can you please go into the visual and thematic differences between Final Fantasy IX and most other games in the series and why Final Fantasy IX is so distinct? I can kind of do that a little bit. I, I will. Give me a second. I'll call Heise, Denny. A letter from Mudon. 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 Thanks, Kupo. Oh, it's terrible, Kupo. Maki from the castle is missing. Did the Alexandrian soldiers kidnap him, or did the black mages eat him, Kupo? I'm so worried. What's going on, Kupo? Um. Well, this game kind of has more of um. The characters are more stylized than seven and eight. Seven had stylized characters on the, um, you know, the pre-rendered backgrounds, but not in battle. And the reason for that is they were still learning the tech, and I think they just wanted it, you know, they wanted to bring back the the classic Final Fantasy thing of the, like, weird characters. But um, by the time you hit eight, they went hyper-realistic. Oh my god, I hate this thing. So they went hyper-realistic for 8, and then they also developed this in conjunction with 8, I think, as an attempt to... the oh, fucking hell, Zidane! Ah! Uh. Worst. So, yeah, Vivi's going to trance soon, too. Um, so anyway, they developed this, I think, in conjunction with 8, and they wanted to bring back the um, the classic style of, like, the, the fantasy aspect of the series as, as opposed to the futuristic, like, aspect. And um, this is just what the characters would look like, you know, in 3D. So they kept every character kind of visually distinct. Also, every character's silhouette... This is one of those things where there's like a name for this, but every character's silhouette is vastly different from every other ca character. And you can tell them just from this, their silhouettes, which is cool. And uh, yeah, so it's both classic Final Fantasy and also kind of modern based on the technology. and. So it's not completely distinct because the, the style is also kind of harkening back to the original stuff on the NES and Super Nintendo. Vinny, don't forget that this is the last game that Uematsu worked on. No, he did the soundtrack for 10 as well, didn't he? And we're going to go back to the Chocobo, I think. Where is that shit? Chocobo. Ready for some quest? Parts of 10 he did? Oh, okay. And he did some stuff for 14, apparently. <laughs> I think that chat member meant for the writing director. Oh, okay. Well, I like this combination of stuff that they brought in for this game. I feel like it's a really good mix of classic Final Fantasy and, and newer Final Fantasy. Well, newer for the time. It's 20 years old. I'm not sure what happened, but he's definitely Choco. You're right, Kupo, but why? Oh, legend was true, Kupo. I'll tell you a secret. I'm looking for a paradise on Earth. Only chosen Chocobos can evolve and lead their masters to that paradise, Kupo. Let's evolve Choco so that we can go to paradise. Kupo, don't you want to go to paradise with me, Kupo? Don't you want to 
come with me and you'll see a world of pure Koopa Nation, the Koopo cult. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, but I have to play more of this. And, and yes, I do plan on cheating. I want you to understand, I take no pleasure in this. I take great pleasure in this, actually. This is, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is the best place to use the fast forward feature. Yeah, Koopo. Wow, you moved like a blur, Koopo. I couldn't even see you. You were so fast. What the hell? What have you done to Choco? This does speed things along very nicely, and you get cool music, so, I mean... Luckily, the music stays as is, as I said last time. I want to hear it. I want to experience the music. I got a chocograph piece. I'm just in this for the chocograph pieces. Chocograph. Well, the chocograph and the pieces. Yeah. Vinny, timer doesn't speed up. This is clearly cheating. Correct. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. So, yeah, nobody has Danny Aykroyd's Crystal Head Vodka. 100% natural, no terpenes. It was really bizarre. But, again, some places, like, you know, they had it, and just some places didn't. And it was weird. But I thought it would be a fun gaff to grab it and like do a review of it on stream. And also just because the skull looks cool. But the one dude at the store was like, yo, I love the crystal head. It's so good. It's so pure. And then another dude was like, you should get the alien head vodka instead. I was like, you have it? They were like, no. I was like, ah. And then someone else was like, it got four bad reviews, so I stopped carrying it. I was like, oh, man. Not a good day for aliens and vodka. Vinny, it isn't that it, it isn't that good and isn't that smooth. I mean, that's the advertising campaign that they do. I was gonna find out for myself. So I'm a little upset that I didn't at least get to try it. I'm sure it would be like, I don't really drink vodka. I mean I I would if it was good. Vinny, four bad reviews, that's all it takes. This stream would have been gone long ago. <laughs> Gotta shut the stream down. Someone didn't like it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Shut her down. But I, I think this, this uh, replacement that I got is surprisingly good. It's a very tasty, and I don't like the taste of whiskey. I mean, I, I'm used to it. Maker's Mark, I think, is, is still my favorite. And I like um, Maker's on the Rocks. I'm very okay with it. Um, this is like a new thing. Like, when you try a different whiskey, you have to kind of get used to it. And I'm a very, very, very light drinker these days, but I will say, there is almost no burn with this whiskey. Like, it's 10% of, like, Jameson or 20% of Jameson's burn. And, um, like, Jack Daniels and all that stuff. This is, this is good. Vinny, what's the point, then? Um, the point is, if you drink this, like, in a movie, you have to make the face and you go, ah, you know that? Like, when there's, ah, you know, you can't do that with this.
just going to get a couple more choker grabs, everybody. Be, be, with, uh, be with you shortly. I don't have a lot of experience with different types of alcohol. Like I said, my drinking is behind me. I'd say that it's more of a, a social thing or a very rare occasionality at home. Like this particular glass I have right now, which is almost done already. I, I only put maybe enough for like, say, th two, sh two or three shots worth in there. If that... Uh-oh, getting drunk tonight on street. Oh, wait, you can't say that on Twitch. I think Twitch's policy is don't get, like, blackout drunk and fall asleep on your stream and become belligerent, which is a really bizarre rule to police. But then again, this is Twitch we're talking about. Oh, good, there's no Twitch admins here. I can say that. I also um, got the Blade Runner comic today, and I will do a review while I'm doing this. So there's a, a Blade Runner comic, issue number one. It's called Blade Runner 2019. See, now I'm talking about alcohol and Blade Runner, so Jesus Christ, people are going to get drunk. But, um, no, I got the, uh, I got it the comic and it's got a, a protagonist named Ash and at first I was like oh they're just trying to do something like epic here and then she actually ends up having a lot more depth um, the art is really nice there's a full page spread that's like really like great there's a lot of familiar landmarks Ash Ketchum that's correct that's the protagonist and it's, it's actually pretty well written. It builds a little bit of a mystery. Um, it does its own thing while utilizing the locations, but it also expands the world a bit. So I'm looking forward to reading more of it. This is the first time we've had like extended Blade Runner universe, aside from like some shitty novels that were not written by Philip K. Dick. And um, I mean, it's a short read. It's a very quick read, but it's pretty good. It's, it's funny because the first couple pages of the book you find out that there's an organ market for collectors where they collect replicant organs and they use them to, I, they just like them. So, so the main character wants to collect the eyes of a replicant so she can sell them for a lot of money and you find out why later. But she's kind of like a, a bit of a dirty cop and that definitely makes things a little more interesting. Okay, we'll do one more, we'll do one more chocobo hunt. But yeah, she needs to sell the eyes to make some money on the black market. And um, one of the cops that's her superiors knows about this and is like, hey, I got a job for you. And she's like, I don't want to do your fucking job, whatever it is. And then the other person's like, oh yeah, okay. Well, I guess we don't need to tell everybody about your little organ harvesting operation. And she's like, I always wanted a vacation. I could just read it in Harrison Ford's fucking sloppy narration voice. But um, there's some derivative stuff. There's some stuff that feels a little predictable. And again, it's it's still... They have to keep it within a certain parameter for it to be Blade Runner. So you can't take a ton of risks. But it seems like the people that are writing it actually give a shit and are big Blade Runner fans. And so I'd give it like probably like a 8 out of 10. I don't even read a lot of comics, so I don't know what the hell I'm rating it against. But it was, it was enjoyable and it was worth the 3 bucks or whatever. I liked it. I think that is all the chocographs we're going to get. All right. Um, check current points. I could get a shitty card. I'm just going to continue saving up for no good reason. Take a look at this chocograph uh, between mountains. Okay. Vinny, Mine will tell you when you have all the chocographs here. Oh, okay. Get Robe of Lords with your cheater points. I can't. Even cheating, Robe of Lords takes forever to get. So 
one's between mountains and one's like somewhere. No. Hmm. Why? By a river, Binyot. Oh. Yeah. What does the orange mist mean? Um, it's near Traino. So in Traino, it's always nighttime. And you, when you get closer to Traino, it switches to evening. So it's just like, yeah, it's just the sun going down. It's stylistic. Yeah. Well, here's a river. It appears not to be this river. Um, it's inside the continent next to the evil forest. Oh, okay. Well, there's also the swamp, but I don't think that's, that doesn't count. Um, okay, let me get the mountain one then at least. I think I can get the mountain one. Here, I think. chest is also like untextured I think I think that texture is broken I don't know it doesn't seem like it should look like that there's several broken textures in this playthrough so far Okay, so I think now we can go to the swamp. Vinny, what's the most regrettable meme you've made? Um, I didn't make the bees meme. He thick might be, even though that really isn't my fault necessarily. That was just a dude who don't say ultra Leno. I won't. Yeah, there was just someone in my Mario Kart that was um, named He Thick, and people like kind of went mental over it and made many thick. I got a bunch of cotton robes from that one thing, and they suck. Words man, no, I like words man. And as a result of that question, I've now discovered that there is someone that hates every meme. Not a single meme is unscathed when you have a large enough group of people. Slow Luigi? I don't even remember Slow Luigi. Vinny, some people tattoo how much they hate memes. Imagine hating something so much you get it tattooed on your body forever. That's some shit right there. The worst meme is Blapkins. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I kind of like Blapkins. Queena, you're safe. Long time no Caesar, Dane. Much trouble. Coming back from Clara alone. Do you know a way to the Outer Continent? I heard there was an entrance somewhere around here. Outer Continent? Maybe I find more delicious frogs. Sound interesting. 
I help you. I eat more frogs. I come with you. Well, there he is. We got Queena back. Isn't that lovely? Aren't everybody excited? Aren't everybody excited? <laughs> what, what a what a character, huh? It's just the music. Queen is all right. I don't mind Queen is so much, but I love the music. Listen to those video game noises. Ah, it's so good. And and the beeps. You got beep up up up. So you got beep up up up. You got good video game noises and you get um let's see and you get good blue magic too queen is an excellent utility character that has um very very good blue magic sorry okay i'm back beep off the bop uh, you gotta find the magic you gotta eat the magic but once you get it it's good um, I want maybe eat frog. You maybe eat frog. Today, can I catch frogs? Okay, so remember, I, I have to leave. Okay, so I can catch a couple frogs here, but I can't catch all of them because then I then then the frog don't come back. I might leave the other... Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll leave the other frogs. I'm not sure. You come far a long way of Gormand. I give you this. Thank you, Master Quale. I train more. You have to leave... Yeah, one, one male, one female frog so that you can get more frog later. So I'll leave one and one. You can tell by their feet color. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. No, no, I'm not doing a, a Quentin Tarantino direct Final Fantasy IX skit. Great news, everyone. We've announced a Captain Falcon movie here at Nintendo, and we've got the perfect director. Had enough, Queen Queena? I done catching. Vinny, are you going to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I would very much like to. Do you know any excavation sites in this area? Excavation site? Hmm. Maybe I hear about it. Maybe not. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I only hear about excavation site around this area. The marsh road covered in brush. Maybe their road to excavation site hidden somewhere. Queena might know. Hidden in brush, huh? Oh, well, thanks anyway. I got another book. Um, the comic book man sold another book to me. I smell. I smell frogs. No, we have to look for the entrance to the outer continent. I smell frog this way. Hey, Queena, hold on. Darn it. Aha, frogs. <laughs> Why say many word when few word do trick? 
cold. They run away again. Wait a minute, Queen, check it out. This entrance, this must be the entrance to the excavation site. First time I see this. <laughs> so, Dane, we going inside? Of course we will. It might lead to the outer continent. Let's go. And now here's the part of the game that I usually dread. At least you have Queen of back. Yep, thank God for that. So I got um, the book I got, I'll tell you, but it's a comic. It's a trade paperback, but it's it's in book form. It is Alien 3, but I'm just stalling before I get into this part. It's a really, really nice book. It's Alien 3, the unproduced screenplay. This is the official adaptation of the original screenplay for Alien 3, written by William Gibson, award-winning science fiction author of the cyberpunk cult classic Neuromancer. Um, so, it, yeah, it basically takes off from Alien 2 and redoes Alien 3 from another writer. And it's a comic, um, and it looks great, and I'm excited to check this out. I, I can't believe we live in this dimension where we can now get comics of unused scripts. What we need now is we need to go back in time and get David Fincher to do this script instead, if it's good. Or we can go back in time and tell the studio not to fuck with Alien 3 and let Fincher do what he wants to do. Vinny, the AI upscaling really shows here. It sure does. Is there something inside? It's too dark to see. Uh-oh. Oh, no! It looks terrible! Oh, fuck. It's a corruption again. It's, there's something wrong with my fucking mod files. Howard, was this like this for you? Not, not Todd. Sorry, Vivi, are you okay? Yeah. It was like that for you? Okay, as long as it's not just me, because I thought I did something wrong when I installed some of these mods. I'm glad that I'm not dumb. It looks like shit, but I'm not dumb. Cheers. Ah, Slancha. That was a close call. Jeez, that didn't do much good. Who's there? I've been looking for you, Princess Garnet. H have we met? Quit flirting with her. Y yes, ma'am. I'm Lani. I'm under order by the Queen to find you, Princess. M my mother? What does my mother want with me? I'm not returning to Alexandria. I've got bad news for you, Princess. It's not you I'm after. What do you mean? Pendant. Does that sound familiar? Let's have it back. It belongs to Queen Braun. Listen carefully, Princess. You escaped unscathed from the monster, but you're not going to be so lucky with me. Hand over the pendant right this minute. Are you the one who set that monster loose? Retrieving the pendant far outweighs the safety of the princess. What do you mean by that? I meant exactly what I said. My orders don't include Princess Garnet's safe return. What? My mother would never order that. That's enough! Give me the pendant. You're trying my patience. Hmm. 
What if we refuse? Stubborn fools. Have it your way. There was a tie-in with McDonald's when Lonnie said that. Uh, well, we gotta do some stealing. And we're gonna get a mighty guard. Ow, that hurt. Jesus. There's, there's, that candle's corrupted, too. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, well, the corruptions add a little spice, at least. So, Lonnie's got a couple things that are quite good. Miss. Oh, damn. If any Final Fantasy IX wasn't McDonald's, that weird ass advertising campaign was Coca Cola. They even had a commercial. I, I know, I was just messing around. I know. But Coca Cola is partnered with McDonald's, aren't they? Just saying. Open. Oh, we haven't seen a summon yet, have we? Uh -oh. I guess we still won't see a summon. Couldn't steal anything. God damn it. Lonnie's got good stuff. What the hell? You're not the one that does that. I do that. Couldn't steal anything. Holy shit. Classic Final Fantasy summons. Idolins. I got, a, I got an achievement for using that. Mighty God. Oh shit, Lonnie's using fire on Garnet now. Boy, is my limiter not working? Dear God. Soul Gladius, yep. One more steal. Oh, she's really going for Garnet. You don't need the last steal, there's no need for it at this point. It's a, a weapon I can't even use anyway, so... You know what? I like that. It's a coral sword. You can get it later. That's fine. Damn you! My spell, BB. Jesus. Damn it. Oh, 
Again with Garnet. Screw it. Let's just end this. Why aren't you giving up? Oh, my God. Vinny, eat? You can't eat the boss. What do you mean, eat? What do you think you're doing? Whoa, calm the fuck down. Got it. You're pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> please. Please. No more close-ups. The stream isn't going to be able to handle it. <sighs> what a drag. I'll let you guys go for now. Okay, now, now, now for the fun. Fossil Roo. An untamed gargan, huh? Maybe I can ride it. So you get like burp step and a fucking really cool area. I, I like the music, though. I know the music is really weird, but I like it. Again, uh, like the person said earlier, the AI upscaling really really helps out here. This area looks really good. And there's people here. Even though this is like a long forgotten, you know, mine shaft. They're going to explain this though, right? Are you here for the treasure too? Oh no, they're treasure hunters. That makes sense then. Treasure? What are you talking about? You don't know? This excavation site has tons of treasure and rare fossils. You're not here to steal them. No, we're not treasure hunting. Does this tunnel connect to the outer continent? The outer continent? Are you trying to go outside? Huh? Uh, this tunnel's like a web. I don't even know how far it travels. You'll need to go that way. But it's quite a trip. The only way to go further is to hitch a ride on the Gargan. But it'll lead you to a dead end if you let it go wherever it wants. So, you navigate the Gargan with that switch over there. It's the relationship between the switch and the Gargans. The switch changes which fountain the water comes out from. <laughs> so convoluted. Gargans hate water. Uh, you can block off the sections you don't want to go to by activating the fountain with that switch. That over there is the number two switch. You'll need to trigger it to go over to the other side. I see. And how do I get there? Do I have to tell you everything? Ah, you can get on there by a Gargan, but... You can get there on a Gargan, but... You'll need to trigger the number one switch to do it. I see. Uh, thanks for the info. Want to play cards? Stiltskin's here too, of course. That was some trouble I ran into in Clara. I was hurt so bad I couldn't even move, but now that I've recovered, I'm back on track. A 
always help Stiltskin. Thanks to you, I can continue my journey. The heck is this place? It's like a maze. Mog key. This mog has a shop. Koopa. Did we read that one already? I feel like we read that one. I got a letter from Koopo. I don't even know who Koopo is. Koopo, let's read it together. Yeah, we did read that one. I'm bored, Koopo. So bored. I'm gonna hide away. Try finding me inside this cavern. Hint, I'm behind a wall. What a carefree Moogle, Koopo. I fled from Lindblom with my life. And that Moogle is going mental! I'm in a wall. Vinny, in your opinion, which Final Fantasy do you think has the best story? Um, of the ones I've played? Because I haven't played all of them. Ah, oh, shit. Also, aren't these enemies amazing? I like Six. Six has a very satisfying arc. Um, I love the characters. I love the way the, the story progresses. I love the stuff that happens in the middle of Six. There's some, like, world-changing stuff that happens, and I love that. Like, I like a lot of the Final Fantasy stories from the games i played. But I'll tell you what, Final Fantasy VIII, as much as I actually do like that game, the story gets so bizarre. A second. And as much as I love this game story, it it falls apart a little bit. It loses some steam. Great. So yeah, six is definitely my favorite. Eight has some cool things that happen. Oh yeah, the time compression, time travel. Oh, yeah. I, I love 8's um, uh, set pieces. 8's got some really cool moments. But, yeah, it's a co like a overall cohesive story. You need to, like... I remember after I streamed Final Fantasy 8 years and years and years ago, I uh, did this little thing where I did a full, like, half hour to 45 minutes just explaining the story. Because people that were watching the stream didn't understand it. And I barely did myself. I had to do research. And I got most of it. Don't get me wrong. It's not like a totally convoluted to the point of non-understanding. It's not Chrono Cross. But it still was worth like going over some stuff because people forgot. Some of it didn't make too much sense. There's a lot of theories that didn't really pan out. But I still have the soft spot for 8, and I still think about it a lot, weirdly enough. Um, Final Fantasy 7 has... I would like to see what they do with it for the remake, because the translation apparently butchered a lot of the... the stuff. But regardless, there's it's the usual, you know, it's Lavos again, kind of, in a lot of ways. Um, did I like... I don't remember Final Fantasy X story too much. I don't remember Final Fantasy X story. I remember a couple things. I remember some dream stuff. I remember, um, the summoners and, and some of the characters. I'd have to play it again to really figure it out. Stay away from the summoner! Um, 
Um, four, I never finished, but I like that four was very straightforward. Four had some good stuff, some good character stuff. Um, it it was a pretty, from what I remember of four, it, it started getting kind of crazy. There was some stuff that started happening involving the moon, but I remember enjoying it very much. Um, but yeah, it felt it felt kind of predictable. But I still enjoyed it. I gotta finish that one day. Maybe one day I'll stream it. I don't know. Probably not for a while, but... I, I miss that game. I really do. But 6 is still... I'd say, yeah, 6 is probably my favorite story. And this is my favorite Final Fantasy, but 6 has a better story. Vinny, you should stream the DS version. It's great. I That's the one I played. Also, what did I just get? I was not... I was busy looking at some stupidness. Berry earrings, thanks. Oh, those got level up on them. I can give them to Queena afterwards. Or maybe Vivi can get them? Vivi can take advantage of level up. Let's do it. I love the drum samples in the soundtrack. It's just like a little bit of reverb. It's got a little bit of a punch to it. It's nice. What was it? Oh, oh, Final Fantasy IV, yes. Uh, the DS version. That version, I believe, is on other platforms now, right? Like, it's not just on DS. It's on Steam? Cool. Okay, yeah, maybe one day. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is honestly worth playing more than a lot of the main titles in the series. I wish I played that fucking game when it first came out. But one day, I might check that one out, too. I mean... As long as I'm still streaming, you know, there's always potential for these things. Just give me one second, I'll be right with you. I'm looking at some stuff. No, I'm... I just want to see the Steam version. Steam FF4. So they did increase the, um, the resolution a little bit. Well, obviously the resolution, but did they... Did they do anything else to it? Um, the textures are a little... blurrier, but crisper. Um... No, 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 they're, they're about... Yeah, it, it looks... it looks decent. There's not too much. I'm sure there's some differences, but it, it looks good. Blurrier, but crispier. I know, I don't know, like, that was the fucking oxymoron of the century right there. Number one is at the deep end of the north side. Oh, and the treasure here is all mine. You can't take it. I just remember getting stuck in Final Fantasy IV and having to cast Float for the very first time in my Final Fantasy career so that I could avoid dying from an enemy because it had, like, Earth magic. And when you cast Float, it doesn't affect you. Okay, so there's a switch. We all float down here, Bugluth. When does it come out? Does anyone know? I could just look it up, but it's it's easier if I just ask. September? Vinny, have you heard any of the music of Final Fantasy XIV? I know you don't care to play it, but there's some good remixes of old themes like FF8's boss theme. I have. Yeah, I still get um, a lot of recommendations, and that includes some music from from the game. Like, I've had people send me just the soundtrack, and I checked out some of it. I thought it was good.
That is why Fossil Roo is a pain in the ass. A lot of backtracking, and there's easy stuff to miss. Just had Zidane kill the Griffin by accident. Oh, good. Never mind. Also, yes, this help system here is is cheat. I know. Taste bad. Oh. Vinny, how do you feel about random encounters in games? I'm not a huge fan of them. I can deal with them. I like games that have encounters on the screen so you can avoid them or at least see when they're coming. But I, you know, I deal with it because it's, it's part of it. Um, Dragon Quest XI doesn't have random encounters, right? Vinny, you already ate that bird? Oh yeah, I did. Vinny, have you played Skies of Arcadia? All is on screen in Dragon Quest. I'm going to enjoy that game, I think. But I, I don't know. I hope I'll be able to, like, get through all of it. Um, someone said um, Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. That might be in my top games of all time, maybe. Would you be willing to play through 10 at all? I did years ago. I'm not really feeling it right now. I probably would play 10 again, but not for years. Is this correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. Pirates of old! Vinny, do you really expect to be streaming years from now? That's a good question. Life throws some strange things at you, doesn't it? If I get four bad reviews, I might have to stop. Can't stop the feeling when they hit you. Gonna stop the little loo -doo. It's Anthony Kiedis singing my favorite song, Can't Stop Streaming. I don't know. I'd probably like to. I, I like games. I like video games. Oh, wait a minute. I, that was a mistake. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, as long as I enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. If, you know, people want me to do it do it. No smiley face. Okay. Vinny, have you ever had any interest in making video games? A little bit. Not really enough to want to do it, though. Um, Vinny is like a Neverland fairy. If we stop believing in him, he stops existing. I'm, I'm the it clown, which is very accurate. Hey, you made it this far already? You want to buy something? Could you imagine waiting in a shitty dank cave for someone to stop by and buy your, your garbage? 
But, I mean, this place just has a lot of shops. Vinny, how excited are you for Doom Eternal? On a scale from 1 to 10, a 9.8. Absolutely. Absolutely. So not only was that dude waiting for probably years to sell something, all stuff I already have, I didn't buy a goddamn thing. Vinny, are you going to play all the Dooms on the Switch? Nah. No, I'm good on those. It's cool that they're out on Switch for sure, but... Wasn't there some bullshit? There's some DRM on, like, original Dooms on the Switch? Not anymore. They got rid of it. This Q&A that we're doing, this impromptu Q&A, is, is helping me get through this part of the game. It was meant for promotional in-game materials, but a glitch made the user have to log in to play the actual game. Amazing. If that is true, I mean, who knows? They remade them in Unity so they could exclude Carmack from the title screen. Boy, Bethesda's doing really good lately at avoiding controversy. They, they just do everything right all the time, right from the beginning, don't they? It's not just Carmack, they wiped up all of Id's existence from the credits. And the music is fucked up on their Unity port. Oh boy. You know what's cool? I actually do like some Bethesda games. I do. I do. And I think it's, it's fair to criticize a company for doing really dumb shit. But also still like their games, if they're good. That is infuriating to the point where it makes me not want to play Skyrim every- <laughs> No. No, it's fine. That's just disrespect. But listen, I'm still looking forward to Doom Eternal, and what you know I'm gonna play Elder Scrolls whatever. Was there another path that I could have gone down if I didn't flip the switch? Chat, should I go back, flip the switch, and then go back? No? No, you're good? All right. Okay, just checking. This is helpful. You know, you guys helping me out here is great because it makes me not want to um, drink more of this crystal head vodka, which I don't have, by the way. It was abducted by aliens, clearly. No, I'm really happy that I have people here that know the game well so they can just tell me, like, then don't waste your time doing this. Lammy is Tiara. Oh. That's good. Just to let you know, Vinny, there's two sets of credits in the game. The original ones and the port team's credits. People are spreading misinformation that the latter was the only set of credits. Well, is it... If, if it was clear, like, do you have to access them separately? You know what I mean? Like, if it was clear that they were there, people wouldn't complain.
Now, in those second set of credits, I'm not, again, the authority on these things, so I don't know really what I can say. But, Vinny, you know people love to complain and make shit up. I know, and Bethesda, at this point, as a company, has dug themselves into a number of holes. Love or hate Bethesda, you have to admit they've handled some stuff pretty poorly, and when you tell me that they cut out John Carmack from the credits, I wasn't surprised. The 14 credits are super animated, while the original credits are like a list like they've always been. So, is Carmack actually in the credits, or was that complete clickbait stupidity? Click in your bait, he's still in there. The proper credits are still in, but the port shit is too. Alright. You got hate bait japed? Hate bait japed. Hate bait japed. I like that. Can we coin that? Because that's seriously what just happened. Listen, I have my issues too. I do, but, I mean, hate bait, Jake? Really? Or, you know, just hate bait J. flip the switch. So I got the tiara, now I go back and get the other stuff. Oh, fuck that. Warning, you will be shut out once you flip the switch and go inside. Yeah, right? I mean, unless I'm missing a... Uh, is there, like, bonus content on Switch 3? I said outside instead of inside. Yeah. It said outside. Oh. You know what? Let me, um... Just give me a minute here. I have, um... I have an unfortunate thing... That I have to relay to you all. Hang on a minute. It's that, um, unfortunately, you can't watch the stream anymore unless you're logged into your Bethesda account. So uh, please do that and then we can continue. Thanks. I mean, listen, this was already rare in a go. It's just incidental that we were talking about Bethesda before Mr. Fullsaw sent this my way. So, good timing on that.
Even Zidane is tired right now. He's just yawning, stretching. Vinny, you joke, but you just said that what they're doing isn't enough to make you stop playing or buying their games. I'm not going to buy their bad games. Wow, I can't believe you made it this far without getting hurt. This is my territory. Go dig somewhere else. I'll let you excavate here in exchange for a potion. Thanks, buddy. Vinny, didn't you buy Fallout 76? They didn't, they gave that to me. I said bad things about it, and then they, then Todd came to my house and donkey punched me. So, well, that's the mug in the wall. But Vinny, you bought a Bethesda game. I have a favor to ask you, Koopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Kupo. Thanks, Kupo. It says Kupo. So Kupo, Kupo with two Ps wants me to deliver. Kupo wants me to deliver a letter to Kupo and says thanks, Kupo. Okay. I'm a little confused. How do they, like, how? How do they do the thing? Kupo is so close to the word Kuso. Yeah, there's more stuff here, isn't there? Yes, but it's RNG. Do I just keep going? Because <laughs> those footstep noises are pretty great. I don't know what I just got. I was looking at the chat. Shit. How about that one? Or, thanks. Sorry, one second, everybody. It's like when Gordon Ramsay says, two seconds. Uh, no, sometimes I just hear strange noises. So there, there's a ring in this wall. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. It's a Bethesda thing, you know, I, I, uh, I managed to play Final Fantasy IX without logging into their servers, and uh, they sent the Bethesda task force to um, put me in an inspirational video for next year's E3. 
All right, now here's what you're going to do. You're going to say how much you love Bethesda and how much you love naming your baby Alduin. I don't have a baby, Todd. You do now. Hold the baby up in front of the camera. I love, I love Bethesda. I believe my baby Alduin. Thanks, that's going in the reel. That'll be at E3 2020. Cool minigame. Is there really, hang on a minute, is there really a ring in this wall? The RNG sure doesn't seem to like you. I need a diamond pickaxe for this. I need better Minecraft shaders to... to... <sighs> there is, but it's an extremely low chance. Well, I got fast forward on. All right, we'll give it another 60 seconds from this point. Vinny, did you save Babs yes, yet? Yes, I did. Babs has been saved. Oh my God. <sighs> Still going. Is it 60 seconds yet? Then he check your inventory. I, I have the world's worst RNG or I got it already. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. You need to re uh, you need to refresh it by leaving the room and coming back. Okay, then let me try that one time. I'm, so I'm sorry, I have to try this. It teaches chemist and guardian mog both things that you want. Shit, now I really want this. Oh, I see. You can excavate all the points and then you go back and refresh. Just like I did. My potion. It's either preset locations or it's totally random and you could just hit anywhere and get it. 10 hour stream of this incoming. Totally random moving doesn't matter. Okay. Just let me know if you see a ring, chat. You'll get it because it, oh, it pops up an achievement. All right. I have um, a weird thing 
So for some reason, I have lots of weird things, but this is a, a really weird thing. I just thought when I went down to that lower level, I was like, there's potatoes in there. And then I remembered in Mario 3 when I was growing up, I thought that there were potatoes in that game because some areas looked like potatoes. Okay, don't worry about it. But then I remember that there was a level in Mario 3 that I, I thought was real but wasn't real. But it was a dream I had, and I always, in my mind, think about that level when I think about how great Mario 3 was. Even though the level doesn't exist. I told you it was a weird thing. And it was a really cool level. And it was like one of those, like, um, blue levels. Vinny Make It and Mario Maker. From what I remember of the level, I can I can try. I'm gonna refresh one or two more times. I, I'm gonna get this thing. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be amazing. There's some really good stuff here. Imagine if I didn't have fast forward. Vinny, when is the Vinny and Carl podcast? Oh, that was a weird level. Mario 3. Never happened. Right. Weird. Vinny, what are you looking for? Fulfillment? Meaning? I have climbed highest mountain. I have run through the field. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Maybe Bono having someone lay his head on his breast was a dream too. Oh, lay your head on my breast, please. Got it. Oh, the achievement's called the One Ring. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I got the ring. Wait, one. Oh, what? Are, oh, the Maiden's Ring. Um, I. Hmm. I also got an emerald. Can no one use the emerald properly and get that haste? No. Alright. Uh. I want to keep level up on Zidane. Guardian Mog does not work. This, this ring is not as cool as I thought. It's alright. It's better later, I think. It's for Ico. It's yeah, it's not for now. It's it's a for oh, I mean it's for a different character. Who could I be getting later on that I don't know? It could be a character that joins the party later, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's Nova Skeleton time. Will Smith pops out. Maybe we can get a Nova Skeleton emote. I don't know how it will be done. We don't know how. Survival vest, very good. Okay. 
got Mug, which uh, damages enemy when you steal. I don't really want that. Locomotion prevents stop. Vinny, it still weirds me out to think that in their early career, you 2 were a really atmospheric, new wave style band that gradually became the poppiest band in the world. <laughs> Arguably. Um, Octung Baby was both the beginning and the end for that band. Octung Baby is a great album, but it also led to a lot of dreck in their career. Is it? You two was shit when Bono joined. I believe Bono was an original member, but I see what you're doing. Yeah, I like um, some of the early U2 stuff, and I like Joshua Tree. I like I, a lot of Octoon Baby, I think it's great. U2 is so bad, they never even made a U3. Okay. I, like I said, I saw them live. I liked them enough to see them live. At one point, I was 20, I think. I never bought into the Save the World stuff that Bono was, like, talking about, because he always did it in a way that was really unappealing. But I enjoyed some of the songs. Just good songwriting. And then, you know, years later... Uh, not too long later, excuse me. That was me cracking my neck. Echo and the Bunnymen should have been bigger than you two. I agree. I love Echo and the Bunnymen. I don't know where to go. I'm stuck. back to the vine room and climb down? Okay. Someone in chat just said that Bono wrote the forward to his economics textbook. <laughs> Vinny, I don't know Echo and the Bunnymen. Can you play them during the BRB? Okay. fake chat message. That was me typing from my other account. <clears throat> I have uh, several thousand accounts all at the same time. I have like a wall of cell phones. You ever see that dude on the bike who like does Pokemon Go with like 17 cell phones on a bunch of like metal poles? Yeah, that's, that's me. But my streaming is just all cell phones with different accounts. This light, there's no mist here. Thank God it's over. Yes, finally, the outer continent. The draw distance has increased. the goblins the gablins
That is a very friendly looking goblin. Yeah. Where there's a whip, there's a way. I like that reference. Battle of the Mushmouths. Bono, Sting, and Ozzy. Who wins? I'm gonna be... I'll be honest with you, I like Sting the best of all three of them. And Sting annoys the fuck out of me. I love Ozzy's music, but I don't, I don't know what he's saying. Is that what you mean? What's the question exactly? Ozzy can still sing really well. I love Black Sabbath so much. She's got so much great solo stuff with, um, uh, what the hell's his name? Randy Rhodes, but what was the other guy? Uh, Zach Wilde. I mean, fucking Ozzy had a great career. And, you know, I, I really like his voice. I like a lot of stuff he does, but I just, I like the police. The police is a good band. What can I say? I don't like a lot of Sting's solo career, though. I, I'll be honest, I have a real hard time listening to that stuff. Goblin Punch. Goblin Punch is non-elemental damage. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow, you dick. Wow, what a, what a dick. This bird is a dick. Life is a very good spell. feeling of in a Final Fantasy game stepping into a larger world Jesus Christ uh, alright Garnet you're angry I know Okay, fine. You want Ramu? I'll give you Ramu. Jesus. Limiter's doing some work, huh? Um, the 
stepping out into a larger world. Like in Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VIII didn't really give me the same feeling. But seven had it. Um, Final Fantasy VI kind of had it. Four definitely had it. Ken didn't even have a fucking proper overworld. Why am I even bothering to kill these goblins? It's working. I mean, Vivi's leveling the fuck up. We can actually switch to the lightning staff now. All right, here we go. This was one of the frames that I saw of how well this AI upscaling actually worked. It was this place. It came all this way and there's still no mist at all. Yeah, what a weird shaped village. What is that thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind? Is very delicious shape. Inside might have fine cuisine. Jeez. All they ever think about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Uh, that's right. My mind is filled with thoughts of you. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying too hard. Wow, Zidane. Rally ho! Rally ho! Rally ho! Well, what's up with these little guys? R rally ho? Rally who? Rally ho! Hey, hold up. Oh, come on. Rally ho's are sacred greeting. If you didn't say rally ho, then ye can enter con de petty home to you know, the dwarves. Now, wait just a minute here. <laughs> rally ho. Rally ho, you can pass. Rally ho. Hmm. The people here sure are different. Come hither, ye. Ah, I'm sorry. And just where do you think you're going? You're always lighting around. Wish! Would you stop heckling me for once? Away with you! Um, pardon me, but... Where would you be without me? You didn't have to say... Get so angry. If you didn't want to hear me complaining, you'd get back to work. All right, woman, all right. Lazy, no good husband of mine, eh? Mercy me, are you near a wee one? Running errands here, are you? Uh, pardon me, but... Well, give my regards to the others. Gee whiz, the people here aren't afraid of me? You have to raise your hand up and open your mouth wide when you say rally hoy. <laughs> I knew it was going to be like this. It was like this last time, too. Gotta do it right. 
Vinny, please tell me the rest of this game is the village. The cor that's correct. Rally high! Rally ho yourself. This village have tasty munchies. Aye, that we do, Conde Petty. is home to the most delicious nuts and berries in the world. I can that's why your folks are always stealing our food. How rude. Thieves very bad people. Aye, that's right. Mmm, lots of yummy looking food here. I'll let you have that pumpkin bomb there for a hot thousand gil. Huh? Why do you need gil to eat food? If you didn't pay for your something, you're stealing! Oh! So you're the thief, Nair, and I! Not me! I only got man! You can a fool me, thief! No, I not thief! Oh, an outsider. How come you built your village on this spot? Because we feel the mountains, the woods, and the sun here more, more than anywhere else. See, Conde Petty surrounded by the mountains near in the woods and blessed by the sun. Conde Petty's home to El Gulli, but good fight. What's your favorite? Oh, I love Boiled Owl, personally. Hmm! That's no bad! Excuse me. Soon I'm gonna have to find a way from a wee William. No, I see once you're a William for a man. Well, what's wrong with you? South side of the side here. Um, hi, I was wondering, hmm, hey, she's a bonny lass at that. But she's awful small to send to the sanctuary, didn't you ken? Look at her, she's a mickle bigger than you. Yeah, I can, I'm not marrying anybody. Hmm, sanctuary? Oh. Rally hi, what can I do for you? This was a, a bad choice. Tell me something, how come there's no mist here? What's that you say, mist? What's it taste like? Am I out of Tums? Oh god, I am. I want you to deliver my letter. But you can't hold anymore, Koopo. Ah. Then he remember to hydrate when doing voices. Okay, I still have a little bit of that whiskey. Oh. It's not Maker's Mark Desert, it's the Knot from Ireland. Rally hoy! You'll be needing a good weapon for the road now, will you nay? Alienate. Some new hats. Heist you back, I can sell you what you're be needing. What about, do you have a synthesis shop here? No, I guess not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. That's f four times I went into the same menu. That's awesome. Well, this has got counter on it. That's good. Counters also, it could be kind of bad for some stuff. 
like stealing and for uh, eating. You had a no light to pass, laddie. Okay, thanks. So many wee barons running about the day. What, did, what is that? What did you say? What did you say? This is where we give thanks to the sun and heavens. What's the matter, Vivi? Um, these two people. The hen you cooked for me was awful good, it was. What way did you cook it? Did you frizzle it with some of your magic? The berries you traded me were astounding too! But like say what is a wee lad like you did in here today? Hey Vivi, do you know these people? How could I? I've never been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try talking to some other people. Sis, I'm hunger! <laughs> But you just ate a boiled owl, did you know? I did, but I did not satisfy my voracious appetite. I have to eat something with more punch, like say, eh? Rally ho! It's Mr. Painty Hit. Rally ho, what have you to sell today? Oh, did you see that? That was weird, wasn't it? That wasn't Vivi. What, or was it? The symbol of Conde Petty. What's a boat doing up there? Boy, I don't know what you're talking about. What's a boat? I cannot let you pass, laddie. Someday I want to be giant to the bitsy on top of a cook boat. And after a while, you'll go to the sanctuary to inscribe our names together. <clears throat> Here, a man and a woman are chained by blessing or a son. Of course, you were a wee bit young to receive the blessing just yet. Plenty thanks, your goods are always welcome here. Hey. What the? Wait. Hang on, hang on, Vivi. Come back. Vivi. Sedane, what's going on? I have no idea, but we gotta catch up with Vivi. Vivi, where's the black mage? He ran away. Huh? Where the heck did he come from? Has Brown has Bra has Bron found us? Do you kind of pointy hats? Huh? Did you just say pointy hats? Nah, I said pointy hats. I often come from the southeast forest to trade with the. They? You mean there's lots of them, and they live near here? Aye, but you've got to go all the way out around the cliff and then get to the east to find the southeast forest. They live so deep in the forest that even the isles didn't they live there. What's that supposed to mean? Zidane, I, I want to go to the southeast forest and find them. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea. We might find some clues. If possible, to try new food anywhere, fine. All right, let's head to the southeast forest. Plot thickens. Boy, I think I bought a bunch of shit that I don't actually need. I guess I could teach Vivi a thing.
two thing. Queena, do you need anything? Queena can get counter. I'm just going to leave that off. But I suppose I could learn it. No harm in learning it. I missed something, by the way. There's an item I apparently missed. There it is. Actually, really happy I didn't miss that. Um, uh, never mind. It's kind of crap. That demon's been in this town for 47 years, mate. What's this? Some kind of roster or something? current number of couples who, having received the blessings of the sun and the heavens through the authority of Father David, have visited the sanctuary. 99. GG. Body temp is super good. Alright, and... Prevents freeze and heat. Now it's pretty good. Well, I also don't want silence. Uh, hang on a minute. That's fine. Just leave that on for now. There was more town this way. Oh, there is. No, there's not. Never mind. Aha! Don't think I didn't see that. Ah, and you're checking me out. I. Is is me for? I'm so comely, you lech. I don't know what I'm reading half the time. Yeah, there is more. What, what's an outsider doing here? Hi, have you seen a strange looking guy here? He goes by the name of Kuja. You're a strange looking? No, no, you see, uh, he looks really sinister and, uh... You're a sinister looking? This dog... What is it? It's like a frog dog. It's weird. Soon I'm gonna have to fill it, find a way from the way William we did that already. You can stay the night for a hundred gulf. The bed may be small, but she'll do you good enough. <laughs> Margaret Miller. They're just <laughs> these are just Scottish names. You didn't expect me to work on such a fine day as this, do you? This, this is I, this is barely Scottish. I realize I'd like to apologize to all of Scotland. All of Scotland that is listening and watching right now. I, I know how terrible this is. But remember, this isn't Scottish. These are dwarves. Oh, there is a spring in the south where if you throw a coin in, I'll make you happy forever. Well, they... That's as may be, but we would not throw away your money so glibly now, would we? Shit, I just skipped through that. There's something about soothing the soul. I can't reactivate the dialogue. God damn it. Vinny, do Scottish people really talk like this? I probably like a, a little, very little of what is happening is real.
Vinny, I'm afraid you're going to do the voice so much it'll be stuck on you. Yeah, if you do a voice for so long, it becomes your voice. That's what they said when I was growing up. Originally, I sounded like this when I was younger. Hello, it's me. And then I started doing this voice, and it just stuck. So, I mean, it's real. Someone just wanted me to do that. That's your one request granted tonight. Vinny, what are you going to do when you're very old? Likely die. As do most humans. That's the first time where people saying same TBH in chat actually applies. Vinny, when will you... Sorry, Binyor, when will you abandon your mortal shell and become a calzone? I'm getting close to that, trust me. Uh, my, my plan to... leave the, the body and have the spirit enter a calzone... Will, soon enough. Soon enough, my plan will be complete. Is this flying lettuce? It's a lettuce ladybug. ritual will be complete and I will become a sentient calzone. Tell the Yeti I said hello. Okay. Griffin killing machine. Wasn't one of the first things you had to kill in The Witcher a griffin? Sorry, Witcher 3. Just a weird, faint memory. Like I said, I never completed that game. It's a very good game, but yeah, that first boss was a fucking griffin. Vinny, did you ever play the Witcher quests in Monster Hunter World? Oh no, I stopped way before then, Desert. There's chocobo tracks near the marsh. Boy, this encounter rate is ass. No battle before the forest. No battle. Here we go. Yes. I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there.
where there are owls, where there are no owls. Even though there's an owl to the right here. That is an excellent sign. And there's battles, too. Ah, yes, the Dongulus. My favorite creature in all of Final Fantasy IX. Jellyfish helicopter buzzsaw fungus, yep. That sign is lying to me. Fuck, what happened to Hootie? Damn, I didn't mean to kill it. One of these mushrooms. I'm sure it's not poisonous or anything. Taste bad, no can eat, never mind. There's like, people keep sending me these insane Minecraft shaders and textures that would like grind my computer to a screeching halt. Next time I stream it, I'll show you guys. It's pretty amazing. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it should be possible. It's really, really good. But I, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's out yet. I can't speak. I can say the words, but I can't speak them. And then back to high res. Used to be the opposite. Ready for best music? Ah! <laughs> Humans! What's wrong? Humans, run! Wait. Did you see them? Yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way. But I... Hey! A village! Village always have good food. I go find. Jeez, you people. The humans are here!
Vivi. What's going on? Welcome, huh? Uh, um, can I help you? <laughs> well, I love that the black mages sell mage mashers. That sure is something. I do love this part of the game, though. Oh, shit. Elixir. Awesome. I'll save that to the end of the game and then still not use it. The one who came here with the group of humans. He's all right. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there are no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is a, um, oh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, cemetery. A cemetery? So underneath the ground, yes, our friends are buried under here. But why? That's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. And one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. He wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? And when he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Was it a disease or was, was he hurt? Tell me, well, why? That's because... Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse me, why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about, using us. You mean about Vivi? No, that's not true. Just because it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk. So besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All oh, humans are liars. You're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. All of thing is thing. Good. Um, welcome. Can I help you? Finally can buy high potions. Climb that ladder. No, I can't. Yeah, I like this little village that they built in the middle of the forest. Somehow they're like amazing craftsmen. 
unbelievable the work they were able to do here. This is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. The gift of magical music for you by Music House. Where'd they get all this stuff? Kind of like the style of the place looks a lot like Alexandria. But also a little bit of Limbloom influence too. Maybe they just like borrowed pieces of stuff from Alexandria and then like built it themselves or or magic it's magic aha I know you hide food get out this egg is ours this chocobo egg chocobo egg super delicious we share and eat it we're not going to eat it. Chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving. That's right. We're going to raise it for her. You crazy. You never raise any animal before. Shut up. We can do it. We can so do it. I not believe you. You eat egg behind my back. No way. Mina, you're, you're ridiculous, please. Sedane, you want to eat too? Chocobo egg, very delicious. We're never going to give it to you. <laughs> Damn it, Queen of Please. Magrio. Super Magrio Bros. I want you to deliver my letter, but you can't hold anymore. Jesus. I feel like I may as well just throw one away. You can come back and get letters later. All right. Never mind then. I might have missed a delivery. I don't remember having this problem last time I played the game. A few, uh, I missed a few. God damn it. Oh, Zidane. What's up, Garnet? I was telling them why we're here. Why? Why are we here? Sedane, it's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see? I'm trying to make them understand. What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Garnet? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable. You know that. Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm going to look for him. Hey, Garnet. Ah, oh, not again. Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. They know how to synthesis. The rune tooth. I need this. I need that. Maiden's ring plus anklet equals reflect ring. Hmm. Can we synthesize Quina into a better character? <laughs> yeah, it's called Pashal. Wait until we get Amaranth. Oh, you're going to love Amaranth. Oh, it's so cool. It's like it was the late 90s. They couldn't not put like a super, super dark character in the game. Hey, hey Vivi, what's up with him? People in chat were calling him Armand. And I don't know if this is like an organized thing to call Amaranth 
Armand just to like be a dick about it, but I like that. Hey, how come you guys can all talk? And we became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? N no, not really. It was the same way with me. I just woke up one day. And there was a human body lying next to me. This body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while, and that's how I ended up here. You see. Many of our friends stopped moving recently. The ones that were produced earlier stopped first. Maybe our lifespan is limited. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Yeah, no, this this shit. I mean, it's a lighthearted game compared to a lot of other Final Fantasies, but it's well, the other PS One are um, Final Fantasies specifically. But it it can hit pretty hard. Vinny, is Final Fantasy IX your favorite Final Fantasy because it vaguely, vaguely reminds you of Blade Runner? No, I actually liked this game as much as I did before Blade Runner was in my uh, purview. Is that the correct word for that? So I'd, I'd seen Blade Runner when the final cut came out, which was, I think, 2006 or seven or eight, And... Uh, I was, you know, Final Fantasy IX came out in 1999, or was it 2000? I think it might have been 2000. And I loved it. But yeah, there is some similarities here between the Replicants and the Black Mages. It's 2000, thanks. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's, um, it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the Black Mages seem pretty nice. Oh, nothing happened. Urgh, I hungry! This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Phoebe, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Phoebe? Y yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around nonstop. We, we should call it a day. I go to the forest and look for food. What about you, Zidane? Yeah, we'll call it a day. Queena annoys the hell out of me. The Dane, Vivi just walked out. Oh, maybe he's letting us have a little romantic time. I'm serious. I, I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe he'll find what he's looking for. Unlike Bono from U2. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah. A place where he belongs. Early 2000s U2 has a song where, where they go, Home, home, where I wanted to go. Hey, Zidane, when you said home, what's the matter? Can't fall asleep? That's Coldplay. Like I said, early 2000s U2. 
How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Uh, once upon a time, there you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man uh, who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? I always thought this was a Final Fantasy VIII song. This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left home, left the home of his adoptive father, and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. Maybe this is why I like this part of the game so much. This pier. This looks awesome here. Blue light? Yeah. He thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happen along the way. All right, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. <laughs> what do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? <laughs> no way. The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Oh. Why? I don't know. It was okay, it was comic book whack bam pows. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home, maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving... You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends have stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. I fear. I don't want to stop. Maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning? I, uh... One year. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Garnet? Zidane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Conde Petty said there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? Vivi stay, uh, if Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait, wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Garnet and I'd get to spend some quality time together. What you say? 
You no know can leave me here. I starve. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go, everyone. To Conde Petty and to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Isn't Queen of so much fun just ruining all, all kinds of stuff? I've been gaining weight lately. I wonder if I'm overeating. Unit. This unit of a mage. We've been... We've each been gaining distinctive personality traits since we arrived in this village. Mr. 44, for instance, got bigger, and the others are also starting to look and act differently. Mr. 288 told us that this is called individuality. He's really smart. We can learn a lot from these mages, I think. And we can learn even more from Queena. Boy, yummy yummies, where are they? I actually did not mean to do that. I thought this was the shop. This thing plays music. Is it true that music makes people happy and want to dance? Tell me, what is music? What, you don't hear the music in your village? needed a mithril dagger, right? Actually, let me go back in there for more dialogue. This mage has no dialogue. Imagine living in a village and having to hear the BGM for as long as you live there. Oh, God. Just forever. It'd be great for a little while. Fucking barbit. Should have bought one. Power belt. Ah, oh, can't buy one of those either. Also known as the Viper. Add status poison. Hell yeah. Imagine having to live in Fossil Rue. Oh no. Why do mages need money? Just go with it, man. Just go with it. See if I can get. Um, I'm not going to get that. I could maybe get this extension. Um, and then the power belts I'd like very much. I need chain mail. I don't know if they have it. Trades shit with the Scottish. Oh, right. Okay. Please take good care of him. We'll be waiting and hear his stories. I wonder what it's like down there. I forgot about them going over to Scottish. Vinny, imagine having to live in that one level from Turok 2 with the fart trumpets for your entire life. Life can sometimes be fart trumpets, but that would be way, way worse. We built this shack to accommodate our baby Chocobo. Pretty nice, don't you think? I think you, you did a, a lovely job with this. I could do better in Dragon Quest Builders, though. I wonder when it'll hatch. I keep it... What's this? I keep it warm constantly. thinking of a name for it. How about Blungus? <laughs> I know how to play cards. Do you want to play?
Get ready for loud. Someone said, who thought this mixing was a good idea? Whoever ported this game over to Steam it just did not give a single fuck. It, it was outsourced. Vinny, you took a few days off of that mage's life. Wow, that was a hell of a statement to make there, buddy. After all we've just been through, I don't like the sun because it makes me hot. But the light is pretty, isn't it? Especially through the leaves. That's okay. I only have a couple of years of... Uh, I only have a couple of years of good hearing left now because of this game. And because of cards in particular. Getting to the point where I can almost one-shot this enemy. Um, gonna save and switch over to Mayro Maker in a couple minutes. I just want to get to the next part, I think. I want to go to Q's Marsh, and I want to get a Chocobo, and then I want to save... They're even here, too. Somehow, they've just, like, warped. They're in all marshes all at the same time. <whistles> Yummy yummies. Let me just say this one thing. Yum. Boy, this is... This is going well. Yep, dude's over here on the other continent, too. I never hear fossil roof. I know not know what you mean. How did how did Uematsu get the sound? Did he just sample like dudes going beep? No, you cannot catch the frogs. It just probably sampled some real interesting, like, sound from people. Put some effects on them. But 
each like voice says a different thing. They go from beep to bop to boop yup. <laughs> it's really good. There's supposed to be chocobo tracks around here, or was that later? There's the chocobo. That would have been super helpful going through the forest. This could be the beach. That's a cool noise. Also mixed very well. Oh, this is the incorrect beach. get a bunch of this stuff. Maybe over here. <laughs> yeah, this is the forgotten beach, I think. Yes, it is. Or a abandoned beach. Nine Phoenix Pinion, nine, five Phoenix Down, twelve Peridot, one Diamond Gloves. Why did I say Peridot as Peridot? Mystery. It's pronounced that way? I think I can get far away lagoon. Might be in a different spot. So we'll just, when we get there, we get there. take the chocobo with me. I want to show up on a chocobo and just ram through all the people. What are you doing? That's what I want them to say. Got a lot of levels while I was getting over there. Diamond stuff. I also I forgot to get the fucking mithril stuff. So I could combine it. Uh. Shit. Mistakes are made. Anyway, probably gonna stop here. So we get some good Mario Maker in. Um, just wanted to... Not counter, uh, level up. I don't think I can read the Scottish anymore. I mean, there's a big thing coming up, but I can't, I cannot read it. It's too late. But I did buy and build some stuff that I cannot see. Get the survival vests. Vinny, but last night you said you'd play Final Fantasy IX for longer. I've been at it for... Three hours almost. We're at 252. 
So yeah, this was longer. This this <laughs> this has certainly been longer. All right. So let's stop here then. Someone said, I didn't think I would like these Final Fantasy IX streams as much as I have. Thanks for playing this game for us, Vin. That makes me happy to hear, honestly. That's a really nice thing to hear because I was always worried about RPG streams. Some people like them, some people don't. And it's a lot. You have to pay attention. You kind of have to like watch every stream and you get to hear me make a fool of myself in, in voice acting or just reading. But, you know, if it's in some way making you find interest in this game, that's great. That makes me really happy. Vinny, your Steiner voice is now the canon Steiner voice for me. That's also a cool thing to hear. How about the... Oh! What are you doing? How about that? All right. Well, thank you. And if anyone's not into this game, I understand. Or like RPGs in general. I get it. Which is why I'd like to show you Zidane. Oh, hi, Zidane. We're going to take a break. Until next time, it's been grand. Mario Maker 2 up next. As promised, here's some Echo and the Bunnymen. See you in a couple minutes. Hydrate. I just I have to figure out which song I would like to show because there's there's a lot I just don't know what will be a good first song hmm. I got one